Getting started, you're going to want to grab yourself about a yard of heavier weight fabric. I recommend canvas or twill. You'll need a one inch buckle set and also one inch webbing and I recommend grabbing about two yards of webbing. You'll need two zippers and I recommend grabbing a little bit longer zipper like 16 inches or above because you will be trimming off the ends. You'll want to grab about one yard of parachute cord. And lastly, your pattern. And this pattern is available at properfitclothing.com. It's super easy to use. Just print it off, cut it out, and you're ready to go. And links to all the supplies and pattern are in the description, so definitely go and check that out. Getting started, go ahead and trace your pattern and cut it out. And the pattern will show you the correct amount you need per panel. Next, go ahead and take one of your zippers in the bottom of your front panel and place the right sides together. Then go ahead and straight stitch that zipper onto that panel. And as you can see, the zipper is way too big, but no worries, you're gonna be trimming that in the end. Now we're gonna be adding a top stitch, so go ahead and fold that seam towards the inside and stitch right on top. Next, go ahead and grab the zipper flap in the top front panel. And we're gonna be folding that zipper panel in half to make the flap. Once you have it folded, go ahead and lay it on the top portion of that zipper on the front panel. And then what you're gonna do is lay your top panel over that. Make sure you lay the right side down and you're gonna wanna pin this into place to keep it in a position and then go ahead and stitch that on. And next you're going to want to add a top stitch above the zipper flap so that way it secures it down. Move that zipper towards the center of that panel and what we're going to do is stitch this edge down so that way it locks it into place. Once you have that flap stitched down, go ahead and grab one of your back panels and this is gonna be the divider between the pockets and sew it on the back. And all you have to do is a quick straight stitch on the top and the bottom to lock it into position so it's easier to sew onto the side panel later. Next, go ahead and grab one of your zipper panels and your other zipper, line it up in the middle, just like you did on the front panels and go ahead and stitch that on. Then just like before, go ahead and fold that seam over and do a top stitch. Go ahead and grab your other zipper panel and do the exact same thing on the other side. Go ahead and move that zipper towards the center of that zipper panel. Go ahead and grab your side panel and pin it on with right sides together. And you're gonna wanna sew over that zipper. Then go ahead and flip it over and do the exact same thing to the other side of that zipper panel. And once you have those two pieces connected, you can go ahead and trim the ends of those zippers. So we're gonna be using a double fold bias tape binder to clean up those edges. And you can definitely get these for domestic sewing machines too. We're gonna to have links in the description. So go ahead and cut out long pieces of bias tape that are the right measurements to the width of your binder. The other option is to use a bias tape making kit. And this is where you pretty much just make your own bias tape. And it comes with a presser foot that helps you attach the bias tape to your garment. And it's pretty simple to use. All you have to do is cut a strip, feed it through, and iron it. And after that, it works the same as the bias tape. You just fold it over and sew it on, or you use that attachment. And what you're going to do is go ahead and use that tape to cover up those inside edges and go over that zipper. So it's pretty simple. Just run it through, or just fold it over and sew it if you're using the domestic method. 
And as you can see, it adds a little bit of strength and also it's gonna prevent fraying. Now we're gonna add a top stitch, so go ahead and roll that inside seam down and stitch over the top. And go ahead and do this for both sides. Next, we're gonna be making the strap flap, so go ahead and grab two of your strap flaps and what you're gonna do is place right sides together and on the shorter end, add the webbing going towards the inside. And what you're gonna do is stitch the three sides and sew that webbing into place in the center of that bottom. And to make it pop more, go ahead and clip the corners and the webbing and then pull it out. And now that you have it out, go ahead and do a top stitch around the sides. And this is also gonna add a little bit of strength so when you're pulling on that strap, it's not gonna just pull out. And then go ahead and repeat this process and make one more. Next, go ahead and take your back panel and place that strap in the center of the side and sew it right on the edge. And make sure the strap is pointing towards the inside. Then go ahead and repeat this process for the other strap. Now we're gonna be adding a little webbing loop along the side, so go ahead, just like the straps, place it towards the inside and stitch it right on the edge below the zipper. And this is just a little loop for something to add on to clip to, and we're gonna do this for both sides. Now go ahead and mark the center of the top and bottom of your front panel and also do the same for your side panel. And what you're gonna do is line these up on the top and bottom and pin around it. And I highly recommend using pins because that way it will keep everything lined up as you sew along that edge. And I like to start at the top and go all the way around and back towards the top. So what you're going to do is just start stitching along that edge at a quarter inch seam allowance. And as you can see, we still have the zipper in place. And this is because it makes it a little bit easier. So that way we don't miss the zipper when we're passing by it. And then after this, you can go ahead and trim it off. And I like to pop it out to make sure I got all the edges sewn into place. Now we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the back panel. So go ahead and pin that into place and sew around that edge. Go ahead and unzip the top zipper and flip it out to make sure that all the edges are nice and sewn together. And then to finish up the inside, we're gonna go ahead and add the double fold bias tape along the edges on both sides. And again, this is gonna clean up the edges and prevent fraying. Once you have the edges sewn up, go ahead and flip it right side out. Now we're gonna be adding the buckle, so the side that doesn't have the loops, go ahead and feed it through and roll it over and sew it on. And I'd recommend going back and forth a few times to really lock it into position. And then for the other side, go ahead and feed it through your adjuster strap and then weave it through your buckle. And then lastly, go back through the adjuster strap. And to prevent the strap from sliding back out, go ahead and fold that end over and do a stitch. Now we're gonna be adding the zipper pulls and there's a thousand different ways to do this, but we're just gonna feed it through very simple, down through the bottom of the zipper and back up through the top of the zipper. And then once you pull it back through the top, go ahead and pull it tight and you can go ahead and choose where you wanna make your knot if you want these super long or super short, it's totally up to you. I recommend doing two knots, pulling it super tight, clipping the ends, and then using a lighter to seal off that end. And there you have it, your shoulder bag fanny pack is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.